Okay. Hello everyone. This is my like update video that I like have been sitting on making. It's like gonna look weird because like I'm like looking at myself right now and like I should look at the camera but I'm like distracting, distracting. And this is gonna be distracting. So just be aware of this. This hand, <laughs> this finger now on my right hand. Woo! A little a little ski slope if you will it's constant um that's just what it's doing right now that's like the cash money swag like whatever so i got home um like a week ago now like today's sunday i got home last saturday and since then like a lot has happened so I have updates on my like treatment plan, um, but I want to like kind of like tell a story first, like tell the story of like what happened. So like the first day that I got home like was not a good day for me, and like it's because mentally like I felt like I was still in the hospital, like I was still there, like in my mind, like and it was it was hard like adjusting to being back home, not because it didn't feel like my home, but like because I didn't feel like I was there. You know what I'm saying? So then those few days, like, up until Friday when I um, was able to see my doctor again, like, the doctor who, like, is in charge of my chemotherapy, like, I felt like I was struggling a lot emotionally up until then. Then when I saw him, it made me feel a lot better, you know? Because basically, I had a lot of uncertainty like i didn't know like the frequency of my treatment like i did like i just felt kind of like stranded and so i go to the doctor um who manages my chemo and everything like that and he tells me that for right now the plan is that i'm gonna do a dose every two weeks for the next two doses so my next dose is thursday um and then my other dose is supposed to be april 6th and then at that point we will evaluate um, where I'm at and like whether we keep doing that or like or what the situation's gonna be. A lot of my questions, a lot of my doubts and stuff like that, he couldn't answer, right? So you would think, why would that make me feel better? <laughs> why would that make you feel better? Like, because I was like, is this okay? Like, is, I don't. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Because I was like, what's a good sign? What's a bad sign? He was like. It's anyone's guess you know because it really has like not been enough time but it's but he was like listen like we use this to treat people it works basically so it's just more so i'm just kind of being like you know what it doesn't really matter what stuff means because it's going to be resolved like that that's what i keep saying to myself like when i get nervous i'm like what if it gets worse i'm like okay well even if it gets worse it's temporary like because it's going to be resolved because we're treating it you know and then with the chemo, I'm like, what if my side effects get worse? What if I start losing a lot of hair? Like, you know, these like freaky, like freak out things because my current side effects, I'm going to say like, are they, do they, do they suck? Yeah. Like they suck pretty bad. Like I, I like, I don't want to minimize them because I would say they're not that bad, but then I feel like my standard is just kind of like my, my bar is a little skewed on what's bad and what's not like, but at the same time, I know there are some people who get, who get chemo and they throw up throw up throw up constantly like that didn't happen to me but what did happen to me is for some reason I when I would be sitting down like in my bed so I could just be sitting here and I would get like motion sickness like it really scared me because I had experienced like the feeling of the room spinning and stuff like that but then all of a sudden you know it hits you like a few days later when like the when your body actually like starts to like really take the chemo on everything starts to drop it's like ooh, you know when that actually starts happening that's when you start getting the weird stuff so i was laying in my bed and all of a sudden i felt like i was like falling out of the sky like like i was in the tower of terror at disney world like i, I had never had that i was like i never had like motion sickness that wasn't real that was moving up and down <laughs> not like just side to side or not just like on a boat you know so that felt very strange and so I did take my um, as-needed nausea medication a couple times, and it helped, but, like, for the most part, like, that comes and goes. 
like what really got me too for a minute was like the gastric like the gastro stuff like there were there's a period of like a few days where I couldn't really eat solid food because for some reason every single time I did the reaction of my body was like insane like it um like in here it would feel like all tight and like I was being stabbed and like I was choking and I can't kill couldn't breathe but it was like the food had gone down like fine though you know what I'm saying like I had, I had put it down fine or like I had made sure I chewed it like whatever it was sort of just happening and then it would be like when it would hit in my stomach it would just hurt like and I would start like burping a ton like like but like very dramatically though like or like, <clears throat> like um and so then yeah that's why I had a series of a few days where I was like okay I can't really eat right now so I had my like um soups and stuff you know um there are things that you can have when that happens thankfully that kind of dissipated but now you know it, it's a cycle so i'm gonna go again on thursday and then we're gonna expect that's probably gonna happen again a few days after and then you know you can sort of expect but then since it's, since it's the second one too i don't know like if, if it's gonna be worse i don't know if i'm gonna like have more like i if it's because of the buildup or like so it was only my first treatment so i don't feel like we're probably not seeing the full scope of my side effects and how it's gonna affect me yet i lost 10 pounds since having chemo though like i literally like between um friday and friday i lost 10 pounds that's crazy so like and the thing is is that the disease makes me lose weight too um speaking of the, speaking of the disease i want to say this and i'm not going to be particular I don't want to give a lot of attention to negativity. I don't want to like say nothing, but it's like, don't tell people that I'm lying because somebody said to someone else about me, they're like, well, chemotherapy is only for cancer. So she's hiding something from you and she's lying. She has cancer. Now, why would you say that? Just don't say that. Just don't put that out there. Just don't spread that around because it's not true. And I literally have a video titled chemotherapy it's not just for cancer like if you're gonna be ignorant keep it to yourself don't try to make other people think the same thing because it makes them uncomfortable <laughs> okay i'm not lying like and the thing is is like people are like i don't know dogmatic about chemotherapy being a cancer drug and it's true like even on the um trans infusion center that i'm going to their site says we offer chemotherapy for cancer treatment and other and other drugs for other non-cancerous treatments like there's no mention of the possibility that somebody could be having the experience i'm having so i understand why it's not known you know but i don't understand why like you wouldn't just receive the information that I've put out there or somebody wouldn't just look it up because it's the same drug it's it's cyclophosphamide it's cytoxan like my doctor calls it chemo he's like you're on chemo I have to know everything you put in your body <laughs> um but it's it's of a lower dose than what's used to treat a lot of cancers but that doesn't make it any less of chemotherapy you know it doesn't make it any less because every person needs an individual treatment plan every person's body like has an individual need like you know there are some cancers that are just a tumor and they can be cut out there are some cancers that are metastasized and are a serious serious struggle there are some that are like you know the very terminal whatever me the same thing with my disease there are some people that have vasculitis and it only affects like one part of them I unfortunately am the person who has the very rare one that and it affects like everything <laughs> I get to have the special one <laughs> the polyarteritis nodosa that is like pretty systemic and it's hard because there's still things that even I don't understand about my illness or things that haven't been explained to me or things that I don't really get and when they were diagnosing me with this they still only like to me to me they tell me I have pan right but on the paper, they still put possible because there are things about my presentation that are different or like might have features of something else. 
but then they also said to me in the hospital they were like yeah the more we think about it the more that it is typical of pants so we got in inconsistent tales um but my thing is since it's such a rare disease you know it's hard to say there really is one profile and especially since i'm an age group where you really don't see it and a gender group where you usually don't see it like because it's mostly in men in middle-aged men when it does occur so <laughs> why me good question it can just happen i suppose um like the steroids i'm on you know i'm gonna be real i'm gonna show it like you see this all this this is from steroids and can't really control that you know my my hands status of my hands i haven't um started my therapies yet uh but we made calls i feel like i might be um getting some feeling back over here but then like it hurts though like like, like the bone like but in terms of my ability this is my best hand right now it's still not my typical dominant hand i still can't really i can't make a fist i can't grip that's the current status of that um the really frustrating thing about the story too is to be honest it makes me infuriated and the reason why it makes me infuriated is because it also makes it in addition to steroids just making people angry it makes it so i cannot sleep so even when i'm really tired like i can sleep for five hours at a time like i'll fall asleep and i'm awake again you know, because it just makes you stay awake. So I'll get headaches a lot during the day, and the light will hurt my eyes, and then, then everybody's talking, they're banging stuff around. And it's hard because I don't want to be mean because I'm like, other people are, it's not, uh, it's not anyone's fault. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to let it come out because it's not anyone else's fault that like, I feel that way. But then at the same time, I'm like, ah, please <laughs> make it stop. I just need complete silence. Uh so like but i think now you know i had a welcome home party yesterday it was a lot of fun my friends threw it for me they did an amazing job it was very exciting i wore like all my fun stuff i was like let me put all my fun stuff on i went to the nail salon so now i'm happy like my nails are not disgusting anymore they were very nice to me there i was kind of scared and embarrassed to go because i was like what if they don't understand you know like what if um what if it's too hard for them you know to, to work with but uh my friend had kind of already told them a little bit about the situation and they were super nice and they were like really like made sure that i had a good a good experience so that's blossom nails if you guys are in um queens blossom nail you should go there it's a good place <laughs> they have nice people there so uh so while i was having my like nails and my pedicure they made sure i was out of the house so that, like i knew the party was gonna happen but they wanted like wanted me out so that they could decorate and surprise me came in this all hello kitty theme because i love hello kitty you know like i like my attachment to hello kitty comes from like my childhood like we all have our like childhood like animal like stuffed animal that we had mine was a hello kitty and then also now it's like i just like what she stands for you know like i just feel like she represents joy like and happiness and like being yourself like the, my little like <laughs> hello kitty advertisement like but i don't know i like that i like what she represents like just like happiness and i think it's good for me to have things like that around me so super fun party uh one thing that i'm doing uh to like try and like treat my um issue is i'm going to like get massages because here's what happened like i had one massage before the hospitalization happened and when i did i could move my hands better for for a short period of time and i was like what but you know then i got hospitalized and i couldn't go again but now it adds up because circulation the vasculitis whatever and that's something that's not covered by insurance and it's kind of expensive, but it's something that we're trying to facilitate because I've seen it do things for me before. So like, I want to kind of like, I'm going to go again today and like see um, what happens. But 
so yeah that was the update i wanted to give you all like in the beginning of the week i was like pretty upset and i wasn't feeling great um now i'm feeling pretty decent most of the day most of the time like every day i have a period where i get sick obviously <laughs> but then like i had a time this morning when i woke up at 7 30 a.m unfortunately I had a time this morning at 7 30 a.m where i had energy so that was positive so i'm gonna go thank you all um since saint a's pushed us over the 5,000, I'm gonna up the goal marker to my stretch goal, which is 10,000. So keep sharing, keep watching. Um, till next time, bye.